Trying new things is good for our brains and boosts our psychological flexibility and our creativity. Those are both good for our resilience and can be fun and fulfilling too. So welcome to New Ways November. And if you're new here, I'm Vanessa King, Head of Psychologies and Workplaces and here to launch New Ways November based on our key of trying out, keep learning new things. Now here are three tips to experiment with this month. Now the first is simply kind of priming your creativity and we can do this by thinking about times in the past when we've been actively creative. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, I'm just not a creative person. I've got no artistic skill, but it's not about that. It could be fixing a fixing something that was broken, or it could be problem solving, or it could be finding ways around an obstacle or a challenge or making something new happen. So think back to three times when you've been actively creative and this month have those, you know, ready to help you know, to, to reflect on um, next time you need a creative boost with something this month. The second tip is about breaking our routines. Now we all have routines and they, they can be very helpful, but they can keep us stuck and then they're not brilliant for our creativity. So this month, pick a, pick a routine that you want to break and shake things up a bit. So it could be having something new for breakfast or cooking some new recipes, or it could be listening to different types of music or reading, uh, reading a poem instead of scrolling on social media. And so pick something you're going to try this month. And when you do it, notice how you feel. It, it takes courage to try something new. It takes courage to be creative. And this breaking our routines is a way of getting us comfortable with that. So just notice how you feel and try and think of three positive things that you experience through that trying something new or breaking your routine. And the third tip this month is a little playful and it's about taking three minutes each day or whenever you remember to do a doodle. Now, um, this may seem a kind of trite type of activity, but studies have shown that it can actually boost the reward centers in our brain and it can start to kind of free, free us up creatively. So you don't need to be an artistic um, master for this. You can just draw a circle on a page, set your timer for three minutes and get your pens out and start doodling. That's something I did this morning. It's different to uh, see what you come up with each time you do it. And if doodling is not available to you, then maybe pick a sound or an object and create a story. It take three minutes, set your timer and come up with a playful, fun story about that object. It's all about kind of letting our minds kind of free associate. So that's it this month, three tips to try. Reflecting on three times you've been creative in the past and using that to sort of prime your mind whenever you're faced with a need for doing something creative or solving a problem. The second is choose a routine that is something that you do habitually and choose to break it or do something different or new um, with that this month. Notice how you feel when you do that and try and think of three things that um, were positive about that experience. And give it a go, try it a few times because um, it's always really uncomfortable the first time. And the third is three minutes of doodling each day or creating a kind of playful story in your mind about a sound or an object around you. So as ever, please share how you're getting on on any of our social media channels. We always love to hear from you and especially um, with our app community as well. So thanks very much for watching. See you again next month. Mm -hmm.